potentially the shareholder. It's merely saying, how do I behave as a director or an employee or the shareholder? So, uh, again, I don't think we've made that, I don't think we've in any way confused, I hope we haven't confused people by saying I think we're it, not. It, I think it was a little bit confusing at first, but again, as a shareholder and director, you would be uh, a primary shareholder. In other words, you would have, let, let's just say, that uh, 51% or more of the shares. Um, so you would have the highest control. Sure, sure. So I, I, I will look at that and see if that needs to be cleared up because I don't want to confuse anyone in saying that when it comes to the estate of the legal person, say Franco Collins, that you are not only the primary beneficiary, but you're also the general executor. All righty? Yeah, and I think that would it would help to um, make sure that it's distinguished between that um, they are different roles. Uh, so you would wear, like you had stated earlier, different a different hat. So it requires a different conduct. And so maybe uh, if that is straightened out a little bit as far as the conduct goes between the, the two. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll review that and see if we make sure that's clear. Okay. Thanks for the question, though. It was good. Yes. That was a good question. Thank you. All right, back to the phone lines real quick. We have Humbleweed. Humbleweed? Hello. Humbleweed, are you there? Hi. I was uh, unmuted and then I went blank. Okay. Okay. Anyway, um, there were three of us, <clears throat> excuse me, there were three of us that uh, filed our EDPs and did the whole process. And... Um, Two of us have um, gotten pulled over for driving without privileges. I happen to not be one of those people. Anyway, I'm asking a question on his behalf. He hasn't been able to access the computer, and he has a court date coming up really soon, and I'm pretty sure he signed without uh, restricting his signature, although I've been restricting my signature. But, I, um, you know, it's like... Uh, I, I like the other question, you know, like when you're pulled over, you're really on the spot. And they do have all the power. They have the tasers and, you know, they have guns and it's very intimidating. And um, so what would be the first thing that you would file? I mean, you would take your summons and what exactly would you do? You want to alert the court, right? Well, Ahead there's two there's, two, there's, there's there's a couple of things that need to be handled immediately. The first is the summons is is packed, jam-packed full of presumptions. Mm-hmm. So those presumptions have to be rebutted, and the way to rebut a, a summons is to copy it, make a copy of it, mm-hmm. and then use the reverse to place your uh, rejection of the summons. Mm-hmm. So it would be a rejection notice, and then it would then... Uh, you'd never sign that, but you would do it as the uh, occupant of the Office of General Executor of the estate and you would absolutely nail it. Now, the other thing that you want to have, and it really is a matter of time, if you don't physically have the time to do it, then you would have to do it on the spot by effectively um, giving notice on the rejection that you will be attending by special invitation to clear up the matter. But if you have the time to prove that you are the general executor, then, of course, you would make sure that that information is entered into the public record of the court so that uh, you actually have no obligation then with your rejection notice to attend. So now, you would file yeah. paperwork that you're the office of the executor as separate from um, your rejection of the summons? Absolutely. You okay. see, the court can say that they have no public record that you are functioning in the office of executor, right? Mm-hmm. So okay. until until you have something that is public, which is their private, then okay. they can say, I don't know you're the executor, you're claiming to be executor, I have no proof that you're the, the executor of the estate. Yeah? Mm-hmm. They can play that game. And they will okay. play that game. Okay. Uh, if you if you don't have the time, then, you know, someone gets, uh, you know, arrested and they basically get detained, then it's going to be on their feet that they prove right. this presumption. Well, uh, they, they can also yeah. postpone um, 
you know, there could be a postponement too. Exactly. So does that okay. kind of answer the question for you? Yes, absolutely. I really right. appreciate it. Thank you so much, Frank, for all you're doing. No, no, it's fine. All right, very good. Thank you, Frank. Um, all right, next question from the chat, if we can go back over there real quick. Is there a way to get together all the people in this field of relief and remedy that we're, um, that we're doing here the, for a roundtable discussion to share ideas and methods and et cetera uh, to benefit all? If these questions have been asked a little bit before, but um, it's new for, for this uh, guest. Yeah, I I would love that to happen, and I wish it would happen. And actually, it is happening more and more. Um, Eucadia, okay, it's a label. Canons, there are labels. But you don't see you have to pay money to view any of this information. It's provided freely. And information that uh, we have been developing over months and over years uh, is used by others without ever claiming it to come from Eucadia. So all this information is provided freely without condition. The problem is, and it's a problem that's been around for a while, is that little word called ego. Ego unfortunately means that people start out for whatever reason, they stake a claim, they write a book, they start a blog, they get a following, and then after a while, they become the expert on trust or they become the expert on A for V or they become the expert on some other aspect of remedy, tax. And the problem is that that is really how the truth movement has evolved and is today. There are huge numbers of people that need help and there are brilliant, brilliant people that each have pieces of the puzzle but getting past the ego, getting past the defense mechanism, getting past the name and this and, you know, you made a mistake. I mean, it, 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 it all becomes childish, really, in the end, when people just want remedy. But I have to say to you that more and more I'm finding, and I, I've got emails and phone calls from people who, you know, at one point were attacking me and, and now say, look, you know, let's have a chat. And I don't begrudge anyone. Um, seriously, it's about helping people, not about whether Franco Collins is this or that. I don't really, and I mean this, I really don't care what people write and say about me. What I care about is that we have some credible resource that we can rely upon as being the source of law. And if we have that and people can go to that, and people can find answers, then I've done my job. But it is happening, and we try and encourage it all the time. But ego is not making it as easy as it should be in getting people to work together. All right? Yeah, very very good, Frank. Yeah, it's been tried by many, <laughs> many folks across the globe to bring people together, and it's, uh, it's quite a task. Um, all right, next question uh, on, from the chat. Will there be a remedy wiki with clear instructions and steps and word definitions hyperlinked and embedded and, and et cetera? Uh, I don't know if you've had any here's, thoughts on that. Here's my, well, yeah, here's my quickest answer. Yes. <laughs> Someday when you can get to it, right? <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, we we need to, to sometimes we just talk about ego, and I think here's one we need to be really humble in ourselves. That we are not the first people to try and find answers. Their system's been going and doing their stuff for hundreds of years. And, and the reason their system is so out of whack is that for hundreds of years they've been getting away with it. I... I I'm of the opinion that there have been some key things missed by people till now that have, have made the task of getting remedy harder. And one of them is if you don't actually set up a 
structure of, of law that you believe it to be. If you don't have something that you can refer to with certainty, then once you dive into Blacks, Bouvier's, jurisprudence, canon law, Roman canon law, and all these things, I mean, it is quicksand. It would send the smartest mind insane to spend even 10 years investigating. And I think this is why there's been such a, a difficult time until now. So, yeah, the answer is yes. The Remedy Wiki is coming, and, and yes, it is a focus to have it done. Absolutely, yes. Very good. That's, that's exciting. Uh, Frank, well, let's go to East Pennsylvania on the phone. So I've got a, some more questions from the queue. But, uh, okay. Sega. Hey. Hi. Um, how you doing? Hi, oh, Ray. Uh, you know, just chilling out, relaxing. <laughs> I hear that. It's, it's, we wish we were chilling out up here, but um, question is: there, the, uh, could you restate the eight signs um, astrologically once again for me? Uh, the signs of now, or the, which? Um, there's a few signs. Which ones are you talking about? The, the, um, astrological signs. Such as Aquarius and. Um, oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, this is uh, the on one island. Um, uh, the link is one hyphen island dot org. There is a um, uh, an epic called um, Book of the Green Race, Libra Clan Glass, which right. speaks of of the ancient. Um, uh, view of the heavens as a wheel um, and then it goes through and speaks of the uh, the depth the um, the the different uh, aspects of those wheels into eight and so uh, what it speaks of is um, the first one being uh, salmon uh, Samino, uh October November um, then December being uh, uh, Duman, no, um, and then it looks at it goes through each of those and it speaks of the animals that each of them represent. So if you go to that, um, so the house, the first house being the ram, the second being uh, the the dog, the third being the swan, the fourth being the horse, the fifth being the bull, the sixth being the pig, the seventh being the stag the eighth being the fish, and then the hidden house being the great speckled serpent, which we know is the Milky Way or the serpent, yeah? Yes. It's the ninth house is the serpent. So if you go and have a look at uh, one hyphen island, Book of the Green Race, Chapter 1, it, it reveals that to you, yeah? Okay. Um, I'm also now... Um People have left a uh, gentleman, which he, he's based out of uh, Washington. Greg knows who I'm speaking of. Uh, we won't speak his name, but a lot of the people, uh, what I want to do is have them start to uh, listen in and make an alliance with us so that we can share information on how things are being done. Right. Okay. Uh, they Actually, a few of them have called me recently, and I told them, you know, what's going on and uh i got you know i'm talking alliances you know you don't have to become part of anything you know yeah. nor you know just you know share what your what your discoveries are and we'll share ours with you in this way we all benefit and you know no no ego no nothing like that well the gentleman the gentleman's name is paul he, he does he, he really got he has no big ego so it's all good right but hopefully uh, we'll have more alliances. I um, one of the Ottawa people is following uh, is is going to court and he's using he, he's knocking out he's going to knock down the three papal bulls walking in, and it'll be the first time in, in Ottawa in the capital city that it's been done. By the way, and that will right. be next. So we're good to go there, and, and he's got the whole concept. He's uh, or he, he declared freemanship uh, two years ago. Yeah, and they they have done everything from lock his bank accounts up to everything else. But 
he was able to shift things and skirt around them. 